So this video is going to cover how to copy a card, a MyFair Classic card, 4-byte non-unique ID, how to copy that card when the card has some keys or some access bits that are set, and it's not just a simple matter of cloning the UID to the ring. So in this, as I said, we're going to be using the uh, Magic Ring. So this has, of course, the Magic MyFair 1K Gen 2 chip inside, so we can basically clone things to that using the MCT app or the Proxmark, but I'm going to show you kind of a cool trick on how to uh, use the Proxmark to get the keys and export the data and then move that over to the phone to save that as a file that you can use the MCT app to write to the ring at any time that you want. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to use tag info. And this is just an app on the phone because uh, we want to verify is this card, you know, is this using some sort of key or some sort of um, data protection or something you know that we need to use the proxmark for so we're gonna get a good read of it and we'll look at the full scan data and we can see okay sector zero we see the id we see factory default keys for sector zero which is interesting usually at least one key is set but in sector one we see ah okay so key a has been set uh, there's no actual data in, in the memory. We can read the memory, it's all zeros, but uh, they've set the key. So what that means is they're using the key uh, with an authentication mechanism uh, for the application. So when you scan this card, the reader will uh, present an authorization to key A in sector one. And when that actually occurs, then you um, you know the reader is able to essentially say, okay, well, the, the key was authorized. So we know, you know, we've, we've done a bit of a challenge uh, to, to this card and now we're getting, uh, uh, you know, the, the key has successfully been authenticated. So we're gonna assume that there's some security, you know, in this and, and it's all good. But uh, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and just go back here and we're gonna go put this card on the HF antenna of the Proxmark. We're gonna use HF, MF for my fair. And then a really cool command again on the Iceman branch on Proxmark. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Auto pwn. <laughs> so we do that. It's going to rip through those keys real fast. And you can see uh, key A in sector one has been uh, found. So it found that and it wrote all this information to uh, these different files. So we have a dump file of the actual contents of the memory in this binary file, or the, sorry, this is the key file. So this is a file that contains these keys for these sectors. And then we have the actual memory contents in the bin file here. So we're gonna wanna copy both of these, even though it's all zeros, we're still gonna copy both of these bin files over to the phone. And you can do that with any means that you have at your disposal. I've already done it using a, a different method, but you can use, you know, whatever you need to use, but you need to get it onto the phone. So once you have it onto the phone, we can do MCT. And of course I have the, the um, you know, again, we're gonna talk about the donation thing. So uh, there's a different version of the MCT tool that you can donate to, and it has some other better features and things and more uh, frequent re releases. And if you value this at all, you should definitely donate to that tool. Uh, I have the non-donation version on this test phone specifically to talk about the donations. So definitely consider donating. Uh, we're gonna hit okay. And the first thing we're gonna do, so I have these binary files on the phone, but we're gonna to need to convert them basically, so import them. So I'm gonna hit the tools and then import, export, convert files. So I'm gonna import, we need to import both the dump file and the key file. So I'm gonna start with the dump file and it presents different um, options. So what kind of file? We're gonna do number two, the bin file. And I'm gonna search and it's HF dash because it's coming from the proxmark so there's the dump file and the key file so we're going to do the dump file file imported import keys same thing the bin file search for hf there's the key file file imported so now we can go to tools and actually we're going to go ahead and go to write tag and i'm going to do write dump so this is going to write the dump files we're going to select it's the only file there, so there it is. Select that one. There's all of the sectors. Sure, why not? Oh, and it says error, no MyFair Classic tag. And that's because it wants uh, it wants the actual tag before it does it. Now, this is a little bit awkward. I wish it would, uh, uh, you know, be able to set you up to be able to scan it when, you, when it's convenient. But so here I'm holding the ring to the actual phone. I hit OK, and I want to make sure I select that key file and not the other ones and start mapping and write dump. So two keys loaded, written, 
data written successfully. So now, if we go to the tag info app here, and we're going to go ahead and clear that report and scan the ring. So we go to full scan and we can see the ID has been changed and the key A in sector one has also been changed. So now this ring is effectively my Chuck E. Cheese play pass. And not only that, but because we have the files on the phone, if I want to change this to something else for some other application, and then later I'm on my way to Chuck E. Cheese, I can write my play pass uh, to this ring. And again, the play pass card does not store any value on it. So we're not like hacking the system or anything, but what we're doing is simply making it a more convenient form factor. So uh, we're duplicating the card. You still have to load value to the to the card, the ring or the card in the same way. And that's stored in the database at Chuck E. Cheese. So again, we're not scamming Chuck E. Cheese here. We're just saying, hey, I don't like this card form factor. I'm going to put it on my ring. And you can do that with the file stored on the phone. So that's how you do it.